Ross. Now don't let the atheists get you no, out. No, 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 no. Did you no, want you to die? You let the atheists get you out. No, wait a minute. You let the atheists get you out. No, 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 no. Did you want to die? No, 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 no. Did you want to die? We have established. But did you just want to die? Let me just establish this. It's the P word. You can you can ask me in one second. It's the P word. Proof. I've just given you proof. You no, it's no not proof. You, ain't got no you cannot. He died on the cross. I believe I it. I believe it. 100%. I percent Somehow, where's the proof that he was a son of God? Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Right. Let me finish. Let me finish. Where was the proof that he died for my sins? Let me finish. Let me finish. Why did he have to die for my sins? I'm a human being. Your side have got to do good scholarship. Your side is poor at scholarship. No, 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 no. So you've got to come with me. You ain't got nothing. No, forget that. No, 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 no. Listen. Listen, 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 bro, listen. I am not part of any group. I am an individual who is seeking the truth. No, I am atheist. open to concepts. No, I, I have just told you I am open to concepts. Yes, but you're biased. I am not. You are I am so. open you to are. anything that, can, that has any solid proof. I can prove to you you're biased. I am open to anything that has that's based on proof, well, if evidence. You're open, if you're open to evidence, yes. you should be shocked at what I've told you about your scholars. They are not my scholars. They are you scholars. Should be thinking, they are wow. the, my scholars they are, are the waste of me. space. I'm going to listen to this guy, but you're not saying that. No, they you're, are not saying. me. I am saying, give me something to actually believe in. Believe. Belief has got to be based on proof. Okay. Something that my okay. intellect, let's limited go, though it may go, be, let's go, let's my go. intellect can okay, accept. Let's go, let's go. None of this nonsense okay. accepts accept him into your heart. Okay, okay. My brain go, makes decisions go. for me. Tell me how you verify something in history. Go. How do I verify yeah, something proof. in history? You want proof? We're looking at history, so you've got a criteria, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it, I want. No, basically, what? scholarly reasons I have to believe but let's say there was a King Henry VIII. No, no, no. Scholarly reasons, I have to believe. Reason? What is the method? Because it's kind of accepted. It's accepted and there's evidence of him actually having been there. How do we verify something with evidence in history? Well, you cannot ultimately, absolutely verify it. However, however, there's enough scholarly reason out there for my brain to accept there was a King Henry VIII. And I agree, there was a Jesus Christ. I believe he died on the cross. But I'm looking for proof way beyond that. I'm saying, take a step back and say, okay, he died. Was he the son of God? How can you prove that he was the son of God? How can you prove that he died for my sins? How can you prove that there was a holy trinity, that there is this system, that there is a system whereby somebody had to die for my sins? Let me ask you, bro. Let me ask you. What, what we're learning here, right, is first of all, and just bear with me, don't jump in. Stick to the P word, was, proof. The atheists are very biased in their historical scholarship. They're always coming with presuppositions and, and biased with the evidence. That's why Richard Dawkins, Sam Harris, they're poor scholars when it comes to history. Right? He's saying he wants proof. Now, whatever I give him, he's going to knock it down, right? You know why? Because in his conversation, he doesn't know anything about how you verify history. He's saying about the way the scholars are. One of the ways... Oh, I agree. Let Jesus Christ died on his death. Let, let him finish. Let me finish. I agree. Let me go finish. on, sorry, go on. In order to enter the debate and the intellectual discussion on this topic, you need to have some idea about how we verify history. We have certain methods. We have one of them is multiple attestation. That is to say, if you've got evidences that are multiple sources, that's number one. Number two, enemy attestation. If you have enemies against you and they write something about you, that gives you some idea what happened in history, right? So that's two methods. You don't Good phrase, right? multiple attestation, you, you, I like that, you, yeah. You, that proves to yeah, me Henry VIII existed. Yeah, but the point is, you should, in order to enter the debate, you should have some knowledge of this, right? You haven't, right? You that haven't. No. You're saying, give me proof. Faith has nothing to do with history. It. it is. No, it's not. Did Jesus die and rise again? Is yes, that I, I agree that Jesus Christ died. I agree with that. It's very good reason to believe he did die. And he died on a cross. Thousands of people have died on crosses. Thousands over the, over the years. I'm saying, take a step back. Proof. He was a son of God, that he died for our sins. Proof. Give me something to really say, you're right, God exists. The methodology. Multiple attestation, enemy attestation. You have multiple attestation. You not only have eyewitness in the Gospels, you have Josephus, you have Tacitus. You have other sources outside the Bible. Pliny, 
these are historians, Suetonius. These are all first century historians, or near the end of the first century, that all verify basic facts about Jesus. Okay. Wait the facts about, I agree, Wait. he lived, and he existed. Against the Christian faith. No, 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 I agree. So what, what kind he of lived there. Want? Proof that his message was that he had to die on a cross for my sins. If you did there is no sorry, proof sorry. If you that that system existed. There's no proof that God said, you know something, I've created mankind, right? Right, there is... None of the, none of that's my point about any. Using a methodology. Can, can I finish? I've given you a plan. Wait, sir, sir, sir. Let me I agree he existed. We're both, we have concurrence on that. I'm talking about proof that he died on a cross for our sins. Proof that my sins had to be paid for with the blood of a man. Can I just tell, can I just finish? Could you read the Old Testament? Sorry? Read the Old Testament. That's got nothing to do with it. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Let me let me give you some evidence. Right? I'll give you some evidence. Who is this? This was written 700 years before Jesus. You're an atheist. Who is this? 700 years before Jesus. The rabbis say that this is Israel. The rabbis tell the Jews not to read this passage. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. For we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned away every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth, he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. Amen. That was written 700 years before he lived. Yeah. Was that Israel or Jesus? Okay, and that is one man's opinion about what's going to happen. But, you but you're talking about something quite fantastic. You are talking that the, the whole basis of your faith is God has he created mankind. What was the reason he created mankind? So we could have willing servants. Huh? For the company, right? Now, now you tell me one thing. He created mankind so he could have willing servants for company, okay? He, God, in his inf infinite wisdom, he oh, knows hey, oh, hey, that when he created mankind, some people are going to make it, some people aren't. Some people are going to be banished to hell. So, but he is basically saying, whoa, 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 whoa. he is basically therefore saying, according to your, according to your, according to your interpretation, Adam and the woman fell, and then he said that there be that the woman, the woman will have a seed, and that will be the restoration for man. The seed was in was was, was with man. It was Jesus Christ. But still, some people are not going to make it. They are going to make it. They are going to go to heaven. Some are going to be banished to hell. Therefore, the whole system would seem to interpret seven, God as being minutes, a very, a very selfish God. He's saying, "I want okay. willing servants by my side. I know that a lot of people are going to suffer in hell. I don't care. I'm going to go go ahead with this system." Okay. You asked me. Oh, uh, you asked me for proof. Yeah. Right. You didn't know the historical method. You don't know about your old scholars, your 80 scholars. That They're not my They're scholars. They're scholars. They're not my scholars. One of the great scholars. philosophers of France doesn't even know that Jesus died. French philosopher, 80. That's got nothing to do. Right? They are not. I give you nothing to do with me. I give you historical method, and I give you historical sources, and then I go on and provide a prophecy for you, and then you've deviated talking about philosophy and, and talking about the issue of hell and whatever. The question that you need to ask as an atheist, you need to answer as an atheist, all right, is it more intelligent to believe, is it more intelligent to believe that something came from nothing, no mind, or that something came from a mind? Which is more intelligent, to believe the universe came from a mind or no mind? I am open to a suggestion but there is a greater power. I've no idea what it is. I get hung up on the word God and then all of the various interpretations of God and the dogma associated to those interpretations. But 
I don't disbelieve it, but I don't believe it either. Because there's no proof either way. In your DNA, you have three billion bits of information in your DNA, right? Where there's information, there is a mind. Who put that information in your DNA? Was it God or aliens? I say it's better to believe that God created this universe and the complexity of nature, all the complexity of DNA came from a mind rather than believe that it came from a non-mind or aliens. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're introducing a new concept now entirely, aliens. I mean, I don't believe in that either. I don't care what he says, he's nothing to do with me. Okay. All I'm saying is the P word, there is zero proof in any of the religions, Christianity, Islam, all of them, which is the beauty of those religions, because what happens is, so many people believe it, particularly in populous nations where there's extreme poverty, go to the Philippines, go to Indonesia, they believe passionately in their religion, because the, you've got the initial pull, I'm going to give you eternal heaven, and the pull is, and the, and the push is, don't you dare transgress and, and this is, disbelieve it either, otherwise you're going to be banished to hell. I am, this is typical atheist. No, 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 no. I'm right. open to concepts. The, the point I'm that saying, I'm, the dogmatic friend. interpretation of a man has to die for Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me just finish because we've only got a few minutes and then we can talk after this, yeah? I'm here today, I know you've asked for proof, and I believe I've given you evidences, right? I'm here to not just argue, I mean, I don't, I'm not anti-intellectual, alright, I've got a degree from university, I'm not anti-intellectual, I, I, I know my stuff when it comes to Islam and Jesus studies, but Jesus said this, we must worship in spirit and in truth, and Jesus is offering you new life. He's offering you a new way forward, new joy, new peace. And he says that he gave his life for you on that cross. He died for you. And he's offering salvation for you, sir. And it's up to you to take it, to believe in it. And if you don't, there is a hell. There is a judgment to come. So if there is a judgment, let me finish. There is a judgment to come. But if you believe in Jesus, there is new life. Jesus, it says in Romans chapter 8, verse 1, there is now no condemnation to them that are in Christ. And I can tell you right now, in my own life, I feel joy and power and passion. And it's not because of any anything, but Jesus is alive, sir. He's alive, he's in his heart, his heart and his heart. He's alive and we want you to have that life. And you're saying you want proof. You're biased, you don't want proof. Yes. If you wanted proof, you, want proof. you believe. Because this nature, this creation, is this, in my heart. this creation shows you that there is a God. And in your heart, you know what's right and wrong. You don't need proof. What you need is to bow the knee to Jesus. Sir. And believe in him as your Lord and Savior. You're asking me to abandon my intellect and to listen to some pure emotion that tells me I believe in Jesus Christ. On a day-to-day -day basis, I use my brain to tell me which sandwich to buy, which insurance policy to buy, which job to take, which woman to date, blah, blah, blah. But you're saying I have to abandon all no, no, of no, that no. You have and to say, forget your intellect, take Jesus into no, your heart, even though no, there's no, no proof, no, no, no. there's no I've reason given why you, the you should. Now I'm giving you the heart. You've had the intellect, historical Jesus studies, one-on-one -on -one study. I agree, I've given you it. All right? He's not the son of God. Now I've given you the heart. No you've had the head, you've had the heart. God bless you. 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 Bless you bro. This is, yeah, thank you very much. We're just here to tell you about Jesus. But why I'm passionate is because Jesus has come to give us freedom, and life, and joy, and abundant peace and power. And He's come to give you the Holy Spirit. So believe in Him as your Lord and Savior today. God bless you. Jesus said these things.